Well, some people have taken to social media to criticise the decision. Uh, let's talk to Kerry Alexandra, who's from the B BBC Trending here, uh, and can tell us more. And there's this, um, a lot of people talking on Twitter and social media, hashtag uh, criming while white. Just tell us more about that. There's been a huge reaction to that. There's been over a quarter of a million tweets uh, using that. And the way that people are using it is to confess to crimes, white people, to confess to crimes that they did, uh, which they sort of ostensibly got away with, whilst black friends were sort of picked on and charged mm. or arrested. So what sort of thing have people been saying? Um, people have been talking about uh, things that they got away with when they were much younger. Um, one person, for example, said that he used to go into a store with his friends, and while the security guard uh, followed his black friend, he would fill his pockets full of sweets. Right. And, and, and in terms of this decision, what, what have been some of the tweets that there the, have the been? Um, so one of the tweets that has got the most uh, sort of momentum behind it, a girl said that when she was 13 she stole a car with friends and drove it around for two weeks before she got caught and only her black friend was charged. Mm. Um, another person said that they were pulled over doing 88 in a 45 zone after having three beers, um, breathalyzed, didn't pass and didn't get a ticket and were told to just go on their way. Mm. Um, and finally also a lot of people acknowledging um, that it's sort of a, a white privilege issue. So this whole case has kind of sparked a whole kind of outpouring, a confessional outpouring, if you like, on social media, and Twitter in particular. It has. It started when a writer on the Jimmy Fallon programme tweeted, um, basically saying that he thought white people ought to sort of stand in solidarity and say how they had uh, been treated differently to black people. And as I say, a quarter of a million people have replied, a lot of them confessing to things they've done. Um, and it's, it's, it's one in a long line of hashtags in the last few weeks that have been sparked by this sort of unrest of white police officers shooting uh, black individuals in the US. Interesting. All right, Carrie, thank you very much for being with Definitely. us.